Here we have the absolute value of 10. So what absolute value means, whatever's on the inside of the absolute value is always going to be positive. So the absolute value of 10 is 10. It does not mean the opposite. It just means it's going to be positive. Okay, number two here. We have negative absolute value of 8. So negative absolute value of 8. We do the absolute value first. Absolute value of 8 is 8. And then we bring down whatever's at the outside. So are we get an answer of negative 8. So deal with the absolute value first and then bring down whatever's on the outside. Okay, number three here. We have negative absolute value of negative 3. So inside the absolute value of negative 3, absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Bring down this negative. So our final answer is a negative 3. And lastly, number 4 here, we have evaluate negative absolute value of x when x equals 1. So that means plug it in where there's an x. So I get negative absolute value of 1. So I deal with this. Absolute value of 1 is 1. Bring down my negative sign. Therefore, I get an answer of a negative 1.